medyo tamad tayo na tamad kasi gumawa ng tutorial for this video I mean for video tutorial ng Steam using Steam actually meron namang iba um, blue stocks kung at least Ryzen 5 ka um, Ryzen 5 hanggang syempre Ryzen 5 up Meron kasing CPU requirement for multi-instance sa blue stocks. So for Steam, um, wait lang, may check tayo dito. Okay, bago na simulan yung tutorial, please do not forget to subscribe Kanto Tino TV sa YouTube, kanda tinyo sa Facebook, and thank you for staying sa live ko. So sa mga nagtatanong pano ang Steam multi instance, o meaning pano yung maraming ganitong window. Steam to ah, um, legit na Steam, um, hindi siya from your for client. Um, hindi rin siya, yes, hindi rin siya LD player from Carlio. Um, sabi kasi nila madali sa LD player, which is, oo. Um, pero, medyo naglalag kasi um, pag uh, LD. Dahil, syempre, emulators uses um, CPU instance and course ng CPU mo so mas mainit ang gamit ng PC natin pag emulator ang gamit kasi pumapasok na rin si GPU the game itself is Android um, Android develop so hindi siya kailangan kumain nang kumain ng ano ng um ng memory or ng ng process so for steam teka lang wait lang open natin yung steam natin nandito ba so right now naka naka ano naka disable yung ano ko hindi na actually disable hindi lang siya naka open yung steam ko so pinakaunang unang gagawin natin is open steam So, sa mga normal na accounts or normal users, Steam will be online. Makikita mo dito um, a lot of ads. Um, yung store natin, yan siya mismo unang-unang papasok. Um, depende, minsan kasi pag in-open natin or pag nag-launch na si Steam nasa home. Which is siyempre yung home, andyan lahat yung games natin. So, unang-unang gagawin for multi-instance um, sa akin kasi naka-offline na pero you have to um, you have to choose go offline again, go offline by default, naka-online naka siya So, click on Steam upper left hand corner Steam drop down You have to choose go offline. So once you choose this go offline, you'd have to reset everything. Magre-reset yung game, magre-reset si Steam, magpapapap siya dito na do you want to go offline. So once you choose go offline, uh, magre-restart na si Steam, magko-close yung game. Okay, so once you are offline, pag Um, pag um, pag nilaunch ulit natin si Steam we have to search for Steam syempre uh, on your programs like just what I did a while ago I launched Steam from from um, from my search option dito sa Windows so open yung Steam the direct kayo dito or if, in, if hindi kayo din direct dito just go to your library makikita nyo yung game mismo Um, ni Mirror 4 just choose on Mirror 4 
If you are already on offline, pag nagawa niyo siya successfully, you will have that play button here. So what you have to do is just click on play and then magpapop up na siya ng window. So gawin natin ngayon. Play tayo ng isa. There you go. So another window will will pop up. So hindi ko alam kung anong account yung naka-sign in dito. Pero, say, start from fresh. Siyempre, mag-sign in ka via your kung saan man, um, kung saan ka man naka-register. So, for me, I Google. So, sign in muna tayo. Mayor. So we are signing in using my fourth account. And we are on Asia 72 and Asia 21. Asa na ang account ko. Sorry, nasa 21 pala tong isa ko. Um, tama, 21 to kasi ito yung nasa oldest server ko na alt. Okay, so nakapag-instance na tayo ng, let's say for example lang to, nakapag-instance ka na ng isang window. So you want to do another window. Gusto mo ulit na isa pang instance. What you have to do is go to your task manager. Task manager tayo. Makikita mo dyan kung ano yung mga naka-open na apps sa'yo. All you have to do is to end task si Steam. Remember, si Steam lang ang i-end task natin. So, open natin si Steam. Makikita mo dyan may instance na nag-run. End task natin si Steam. So, syempre, after ending the task, mawawala na si Steam. Um, next step is we have to relaunch. Open ulit natin si Steam as another instance. So, magkakaroon siya ng pop-up dito. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. A pop-up will appear to tell you if you want to go online and you want to start in offline mode. Siyempre, Another instance yung gagawin natin. We have to do it and start in offline mode. So, it will direct you to your library. Andiyan lahat yung games mo na nilalaro mo or installed currently on your PC. Choose Mirror 4 from the left side or andito naman si Mirror 4. Choose mo siya. And then, play another instance. There you go. My fifth instance ng window without closing anything. Um, by the way, I am currently on Ryzen 7. Um, tong PC na ginagamit ko. Um, natry ko na rin siya sa Ryzen 5 2600. Um, on my Ryzen 5 2600, natry ko na siya na hanggang 10 na instance with Ryzen 7, syempre. If Ryzen 5 can do it like 10 instances without lagging, why not Ryzen 7 can't do? Diba? So, ayan. So, ayun. Ganun lang po ang pag-play. Just remember to always go on offline mode. Um, pero syempre, before starting your day, you have to go online. You have to go online. Siyempre, kung meron ka ibang games na working with Steam, um, that you need to update, go on online. So, again, 
from Steam, go on offline mode, restart everything. Once it restarts, a pop up will uh, display start on offline mode, and then ganon. Ulit ulit lang. Okay, so back to regular programming tayo.